Sister Annalee is the type of person that envelops you when you first meet her. You just have this sense when you meet and talk to her that, hey, I can tell her anything. Sister Annalee is an incredible woman. She's dedicated her life to serving others and she encourages all of us to do the same. Her passion has a way of just naturally permeating whatever room she's in. It's rare that you find a person who is as genuine in their desire to see um, people who are struggling uh, rise above their circumstances. You know that she will give it to you straight. She just has that personality that makes you want to be better. Phenomenal role model, you know, um, and effortlessly, you know, it's just being who she is. Born in Perryville, Missouri, Sister Annalee Faraday has always been an overachiever. Student Council President, Valley Victorian, and star athlete. My dad playing catch and showing me how to throw that wasn't a girl throw. Um, this was one of my pride and joys that I've always uh, tucked in my pocket. In the sixth grade, I became the youngest uh, girl uh, during the summertime to play softball on a city team. Two guys came over to me and had in their hands a contract to play professional softball with the Women's League out of Houston. Um, I was ecstatic. Um, obviously, I, I joined uh, another different team. But throughout the years, Sister Anna Lee never lost sight of her greatest passion. Helping people. By the time I was a sophomore, I was convinced that I was being called to be one of the sisters. I wanted to be like them. I wanted to do what they did. I saw them happy. I wanted to be with the sisters doing whatever the sisters did. I wanted to become a good one. I just, I'm getting all these hugs today. You spoiled me. You know that, don't you? <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Hey. <laughs> We're always learning. Yes, we are. Oh, I always feel so warm inside when I'm around you. That's a privilege. Always. I love that voice. Me too. Yeah, you're not going nowhere. God, God's not done with you yet. He's just no, got started he with you. Not be. Annually, Guardian Angel serves more than 7,000 people, um, all the way from birth to senior citizens. And some of those folks are people who have struggled with poverty throughout the course of their lives. And some of those people are individuals who, just because of what's happening with the economy, have lost their jobs, have um, you know, had some, some bad luck. And so we meet a variety of different needs for folks depending on where they're at in their life. When we were considering establishing the endowment, it just seemed logical to name it after Sister Anna Lee. There's no one involved in the agency who more embodies the mission and values of Guardian Angel. She is really an inspiration to all of us who are blessed to be able to work with her. She is a natural leader and pushes us all to do more. An endowment as I've known it to be and come to appreciate it um, is a forever thing. Uh, the funding that comes winds up being a permanent gift that cannot be erased. It's there and what it generates by way of interest is what is expendable. In honor of Sister Anna Lee's 58 years of service to the community, Guardian Angel Settlement Association is thrilled to announce the establishment of the Sister Anna Lee Faraday Service Endowment. Donations directed to the endowment fund will be permanently restricted, meaning that the principal or gift amount will be retained in perpetuity and cannot be spent. Only earnings from the endowment fund will be used to support the programs and services of Guardian Angel ensuring that Sister Anna Lee's legacy will continue to support Guardian Angel for many generations to come. 
This is the first endowment for Guardian Angel. Even though we have a long history in the community, it's not an avenue of fundraising that we have pursued. I don't know from year to year if that grant's going to be renewed, if that's any, anybody's budget. But when we have revenue coming from an endowment fund, we set the tone, we decide the families that need the help, they get the help. We can take on individuals and help them where the help can mean the most. This is a way to create a lasting income source for the agency. So it's a way that donors can uh, give funds and know that that money will continue to benefit the agency over time. We should always be willing to give and to help our neighbors. We are our neighbor keeper. We, we always think that we are not, but it everything that she does tells us that that is the way life works. Give everything that you possibly can to help someone else. Every opportunity has been a learning experience for me. I can't begin to tell you how the poor have taught me and for which I am eternally grateful. For Guardian Angel, this is just one of the, the biggest possibilities that I've seen on the horizon to keep us in place, functioning well for the future.